Hey guys, Clown here. Welcome to the Stanley Parable. How do we begin game? There we go. Here we go, Stanley Parable. So I've been wanting to play this for absolutely ages, but um, I, I'm kind of lazy and I don't really want to spend a lot of money most of the time. Uh, but now Steam sales, it was $6. Can you believe that? Oh my god. So yeah, we're going to be playing the hell out of this. Um, I, I don't know, there will be... Probably just one. There might be two episodes. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, yeah, I've, I've been hell as productive about my YouTube recently. I got four, count them, four things edited ready to upload. Uh, so some Don't Starve. Those will be out first. Uh, and some DayZ as well. I don't know when I'll be releasing that. DayZ will either be the week before I release Stanley Parable or the week after. There we go. <laughs> This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Did he? Okay. Oh god, am I running? Oh my god. I'm either running or walking really fast. Okay, we're out of the office. Office 427, no props, let's go. Oh, filing cabinets. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That, that door was open when I came out, right? I swear that door was... Okay, whatever, no problem. Look at all these these things. I, I kind of want to open a door. Just some papers on the ground. Oh, what a beautiful sight outside. That's why I love working here, you know. It's the sight that you get to see every day when you look out your window. This is very surreal, actually. Oh my gosh. Where are we going? Where is the... Oh. Okay. Sure, everyone's just popped out to get some paper towels or something to clean that up. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did he? Okay, sure. Let's go to the meeting room. They keep closing. I don't like that. Okay, no problem. No problem at all. What could go wrong? Oh, good. Plants. Filing cabinets. Normal office sites. Oh, look at that. Beautiful beautiful landscape. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Sure. Yeah, I... Oh, I'd better go to my boss's office then. Oh, no one's here. Oh! 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 <laughs> Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Can I pick up the broom? Oh look, I can crouch. This is cool. Oh my god. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Why does it keep telling me that? Now I feel like there is something in here. Let's go... Can I... I'm clicking everything. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna stay in here to spite you, voice! Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? 
Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I can't. I, something has to happen being in here, I swear. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm gonna play that again and I'll be in the broom closet. I'm gonna, I mean, probably not for YouTube. I don't know if anything actually happens, but... Oh, this is nice. If something does, that'd be amazing. That would be crazy. Oh, it's a big room. Holy shit. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. What? <laughs> of course, he's right. Two, four, eight, five. Right? See, of course. I couldn't have... All right, let's go and screw it. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input any... Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Ooh, ominous. Oh my god. What was that? I heard something there. What was that? What the heck? Oh, there's no flashlight. Done. Oh, buttons. Hooray! Oh? oh my god. I've never been in a lift like this with, with these, like, iron bars. I want to. That'd be creepy. Imagine looking out and you can just see, like, passing floors and stuff. Oh my god, I really wish that had happened in real life. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Um... Do I want it? Hmm... Uh, um... 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 Uh, <laughs> I kind of... No, I've listened to the voice so far. We'll keep listening to it. Uh, this is spooky. What's that? A button. Oh. The oh. lights rose Whoa. from an enormous room packed with television screens. What? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? What are these screens? This is weird. Alright, let's keep going, I guess. I guess we're going to listen to the voice this whole time. Although I do want to come back for that broom closet a bit. That'd, that'd be great. Alright, button. I push back. Now the monitors oh. jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. That's, that's me. his co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Whoa. I could see me. I could see my office. This is... Ah. Uh, ah. Oh. Oh. What's this do? Oh, sure. What? This oh. mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Not that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? There's 427. Let's see 427. Let's have a look. Here we... Oh, oh, damn it. I looked away right when it changed. God damn. Alright, here we go. No, 
He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yeah, oh no! But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Would he? What's this button do? Oh, it doesn't do anything. I was kind of hoping it'd do something. Um, right, how do we dismantle this then? Let's go. Let's fix this. I'm Stanley. What's that? Five? Five? Uh, doors? Oh, what's that? Mind controls idle. Ooh. What's the five do? Should I... Should, should I press the five? I'm pressing five. Oh. Okay, nothing happened. Whatever. Let's go in here. Oh no, we should, we should delete the system 32. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Mind controls. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Or, and I'm just, you know, throwing out ideas here. Or, we, we turn it on and just program myself to be like Jesus. I don't know. Off, on. Free will, Jesus. Free will, Superman. Free will, Super Jesus. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. How do I choose? Ah, uh, ah, uh, free will. Oh. Um. What happened? Oh. Ah. Uh, where am I? Oh, shit. Why did I look away from that crack of light? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I see something. Oh, yes. yes. Whoa. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Wow. Stanley Parable, everybody. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Aww. Right, I'm going back to get that door. Hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time.
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to what? go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. What? Ah! What? 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 What?